welcome all of you for today's session. Let's begin today's session first by offering prayers to Srila Prabhupada and to their lordships. Please join me. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashyatya Deshatarini Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna and welcome once again all of you who joined just now. Now today we are going to discuss yet another mistake that should be avoided in our life in order to achieve material happiness also the spiritual happiness or spiritual goal of our life and this mistake is an important pastime that we see in ramayana so Today's mistake that we are going to discuss from Ramayana is called pleasure traps. How to spot the traps in our life that come like a pleasure traps, but actually it can take our life. It can become a disaster. Before I begin, I ask all the online viewers, just make a guess about who maybe today we are talking about what incidents maybe we are going to discuss. You all probably can think over and just quickly enter. Life is full of traps. In fact, Lord Krishna says, material world is such that it is full of, filled with miseries. Dukkhalayam Ashashvatam. First of all, it is a place of misery. And secondly, it is actually everything is temporary when you think of a fisherman the person who catches the fish there are two ways they catch the fish they spread the net and they catch the fish or another one uh, like those who go and catch the fish as a hobby you might have seen how they catch there is a rope there is a thread and they have tied a hook and that hook also has a bait and the bait is nothing but something which fish likes like fish likes the worms or some germs and now by seeing that worms the fish thinks oh here is my happiness here is my food and the fish comes and when it tries to eat that worms, it gets stuck. And that is how it loses its life and finally dies in that way. Now, intelligent people should understand if anybody wants to catch us, they catch us through what we like. That is our weakness. So uh, how Maya catches or how our enemies catch us is always through some trap which we all like right so i hope you all have made your uh, guess what could be the today's pastime about whom we are going to discuss so let's discuss about uh, today's pastime from brahman this pastime happens during the aranya kanda of the ramayana the section that describes about ram lakshman sita's stay in the forest vanavasa in the aranya chitrakuta aranya dandakaranya forest all these places now as you all remember uh, the famous pastime shurparnaka came making proposal to ram and lakshman and uh, that was rejected she tries to kill sita but uh, lakshmana's timely intervention uh, stops shurparnaka and uh, they chop off the Shurpanaka's nose. Shurpanaka gets infuriated. And what she does, she goes and informs Kara and Dushana. And they come with 16,000 army 
but finally everybody gets killed by lord ram and then the information reaches to ravana by a messenger called akampana and he tells you see like this there is one person ram and he has killed all your servants the demon servants so it is so scary so ravana gets first hand information and he feels that uh, okay uh, he should go and attack ram but maricha advises ravana ram is too powerful better you should avoid don't go and fight with him so ravana gives up that idea and goes back then shurpanaka comes and then she manipulates ravana and tells how there is a beautiful woman called sita and ravan should definitely go and bring sita enjoy sita and all this kind of uh, you know manipulation shurpanaka does and by hearing the beauty of sita now ravana is decided that he has to hook her to bring sita for his enjoyment this is the background for today's pastime now again ravana goes to maricha who is another rakshasa who who can form who can change his form and request that maricha not request in fact he orders maricha he tells maricha you have to help me in kidnapping sita and how is that he says you have to take the form of a golden deer see we all have heard deer deer means in hindi we say hiranya hiran so a uh, deer is a very beautiful animal but you have never seen a golden deer golden color golden skin deer right so that means it will become a special attraction only then sita will pay attention so that was the ravana's logic and the maricha says see you are again trying to do something very wrong and it will bring a disaster and all that maricha says ravana says you only have two choices either you help me and get killed by rama or you disagree with me then i will kill you then maricha decides it is better to get killed by ram so he takes the form of a golden deer and ramayana gives valmiki ramayana gives the description of the golden deer the golden deer was so beautiful so enchanting it was almost not possible to ignore the presence of the golden deer valmiki ramayana describes how the golden deer started roaming around the the parana kutira the, the the hut that was built by ram lakshman with leaves for them to live so the sita was living there and she she just glanced and she saw there is a beautiful golden deer and the golden deer has a golden skin and it has a silver dots on all over the body and the the eyes are like rubies and the horns are like shining and it was looking so extraordinary it was looking out of the world and sita by looking at it she completely lost her heart she said how beautiful not just beautiful it is so unique see sometimes in our life when we see something beautiful and also unique unique means nowhere else you get that it is so unique Uh, immediately you don't think of ignoring it you immediately want it you want to keep it with you because it is so unique so sita called ram ram please come here hey lakshman you also come here look at this beautiful deer how beautiful it is and they all started looking at the deer and it is jumping sometimes it jumps and it disappears oh it was here only it just disappeared then again it appeared and it 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 it, it was walking in front of the sita ram lakshman in this way it allured the mind of sita by the beauty and that all that the way it was walking jumping and the golden deer complexions the silver dots like a ruby kind of an eyes sapphire kind of a horns and all that and sita told my dear ram our vanavas is about to get over and when i go back as a memory of staying in this beautiful forest i want to take something with me i wish to take something and i think this deer if you can go and catch and bring me i can keep this deer with me in my palace in the ayodhya palace i can always uh, you know play with this deer i can remember how nice this you know forest we all had great time you know everybody likes to have some kind of a uh, i some um, memory items right souvenir so uh, now sita is requesting ram that she wants that. now today's topic is this 
pleasure trap there are two words pleasure that means happiness which is a trap it is a happiness but it is not just a happiness there are two types of happiness a happiness that gives you liberation there is another type of happiness that brings bonding that creates your entanglement to something now sita she thought this this happiness that i'm going to get from this deer is so nice i i want this happiness but what she was not able to see that there was a trap of ravana behind this deer this is what we need to pay attention there is happiness but somebody has laid a trap behind that happiness let's take another example how people catch rats in home i'm sure in your home your father your mother must have tried and you also must have been a part of it or you must have seen it at least whenever they want to catch rat they buy some eatables you know there will be a cage the trap the rat trap or a cage that is made for the rat and they bring some fry item like uh, you know oily item or some eatable some sweet and they keep inside the the cage and now the rat that comes searching for the food it thinks oh here is my happiness but what rat cannot see is that somebody wants to trap you they want to kill you they want to catch you they want to take away your life this is beyond rat's intelligence so this is how the rat is caught so now ravana wants to kidnap sita for that he is putting a trap for it now this particular pastime this leela from the ramayana teaches a very important lesson for all of us in our life that to this kind of a mistake we should avoid what is this mistake what is the mistake of sita the mistake is that that when she sees there is happiness whenever we see any happiness in this material world we should always check whether there is a trap behind this happiness if you do not train our intelligence to look behind what is the trap then we behave like animals all animals like this uh, rat or even an elephant the most powerful animal elephant is caught it is caught how through a trap they they dig one huge pit and then they make one uh, female elephant or a she elephant to walk in front of that male elephant and by seeing the female elephant the male elephant thinks oh now let me go and enjoy with she elephant or a female elephant so it goes behind that female elephant that female elephant is nothing but a trap it takes that you know uh, the he elephant in such a manner that finally the he elephant will fall will fall into that pit or khedda and once it falls there for many days they don't give the food and it becomes very weak and then no water no food when the elephant is too weak they get, get the elephant out and they tie him they catch him they entangle him and they train him and finally the elephant whole life becomes a slave such a powerful animal becomes the slave of human beings because of attraction called some kind of a happiness behind she elephant like this the bhagavatam says and shila prabhupada explains how there are different different traps in this nature like if you see how the hunter catches the deer he the deers are always attracted to the sound so the hunter traditionally he goes and plays the flute and by hearing the flute sound the deer gets caught and uh, uh, we already saw how fish because of the tongue for eating attraction the tongue loses the life for a, a sound attraction the deer loses the life for genital attraction the elephant loses the life for a freedom like this uh, for the light attraction some of the insects you must have seen in your home or outside the road uh, roadside lights there are so many insects getting attracted and they all go and they die there and because of the smell the fragrance there are certain types of those uh, you know we call it as a brinda in sanskrit in the flower they'll be going they'll be hovering around 
and they are so much attracted to that smell and when the flower closes at the end of the day they get trapped and they die there so like this because of the smell because of the sound because of the taste because of skin and because of the eyes you know we get trapped so shrimad bhagavatam says uh, whenever there is a happiness intelligence means we have to think is there a trap behind this happiness because no happiness comes in this material world without a trap nobody unnecessarily gives any sweet for a rat the rat whenever it gets any food it should know that somebody wants to kill you somebody wants to poison you like this so no, we are all searching for happiness because why 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 don't you give some uh, netflix account for a rat and catch you cannot catch rat by giving some netflix account because rat will not get attracted to netflix so rat get attracted for eating only likewise uh, maya knows all of our weakness some of us have weakness for this some of us weakness for that and whenever we maya wants to trap us whenever this even people want to trap us in this world they trap us through what we like through what we are thinking that it is happiness for us for some people the happiness could be family oh my family is my happiness for some people happiness could be career growth oh career growth is my happiness for some people something else is happiness whatever you like through that only maya will come and catch and what she does when she catches she actually divert us from the goal of our life what is the goal of life the goal of life is to develop unflinching attraction and devotion to lord krishna and the trap means you will not get this opportunity you will be distracted why you get distracted because you are interested in that kind of a happiness happiness which comes with the trap so bhagavad gita says krishna says in the material world every happiness comes with a trap so those who are thinking i want to enjoy in the material world they should know that there is a trap behind it you get stuck your life is stuck so that's why we have to be so careful that is why shastra says be careful don't go behind the so called happiness be very careful don't do sense gratification because sense gratification is the is a trap but it will catch you you lose your mind you lose your human form of life everything is lost like i've seen another uh, a uh, venus trap if you go to youtube and try venus trap there is a carnivorous uh, plant it has a beautiful flower and that flower gives a nice smell a nice color for that color and smell some insects come and sit and what actually that uh, the plant does is and it is it is in a such a way that they will fall inside the uh, flower and then the the trap closes and in this way you lose so whenever there is so called happiness there is a trap so this uh, illusion this pleasure trap that came before sita was actually with the intention of kidnapping sita there was an intention to harm sita it was not that uh, a nice deer was just like that roaming around it was roaming around with a with a wrong intention to kidnap sita so like that in our life also especially sense gratification sense sense gratification means something which is so pleasing to our eyes it can be so pleasing to our ear which is non krishna conscious it is not taking you towards krishna but it looks like happiness for devotee they should know krishna is my happiness lord rama is my happiness chanting hare krishna mantra is my happiness taking krishna prasadam is my happiness reading bhagavad gita bhagavatam is my happiness going to temple is my happiness rendering devotional service is my happiness taking association of devotees is my happiness these are happiness which do not have any trap these happiness will liberate you they actually they expand your freedom but anything apart from this list all other happiness their happiness with trap like that the deer the maricha came as a deer to catch sita by ravana like that all the so called happiness in this material world they are all meant to catch us catch the soul and keep those soul in the material world because you have got interested in cheap happiness cheap happiness is always very uh, dangerous for us 
So then what happened? Then Sita, Sita told Ram, Lakshman, see. Then Lakshman immediately told, my dear mother, Sita, uh, Ram, I think it is not an ordinary deer. Somebody must be trying to trick us. I think we should be careful. Actually, Lakshmana detects this. You see, sometimes in our life also, when we, when our mind gets allured, oh, here is enjoyment, I should enjoy. Sometimes our intelligence works like Lakshmana. Lakshmana told Ram, don't believe this. Sita, don't believe this. This must be some demon. They are trying to trick us. They are trying to mislead us. We should be careful about this. And then Sita said, no, no, it is so beautiful. I want this. See, Sita represents a uh, soul in the material world. She, uh, we are not talking about Sita. We are taking a parallels. Sita, she is a Jagan Mata. She is the internal potency of the Lord. She can never come under illusion. But they are playing the Leela. But we are seeing what lesson for us, people like us, ordinary people. So Sita, is re she is representing uh, you know, ordinary soul in the material world that gets allured to the uh, so-called happiness of this material, material happiness. So she, Sita, she was not ready to listen to Lakshmana. No, 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 it is so beautiful, I want. Then she told Ram, if you really love me, please go. Please go and uh, bring this for me. Actually, Ram represents, Sita represents the soul and uh, Lakshmana is representing that intelligence which gives you right and wrong direction and Ram represents somebody like our uh, Indriyas, Karma Indriya, Jnana Indriya who work for us. So we are, we are actually forcing uh, because of our, uh, you know, this kind of a usury uh, desire for that uh, fake happiness that we want Ram to go and bring that for us. Ram and Lakshman both are our protectors. But we are sending Ram, go, bring that happiness for me. And then Ram goes out. Okay, I will catch this deer for Sita. And he goes out. And that is the first success of the trap. The first success of the trap is to remove Ram from your life. You should be so careful about this. Anywhere, any opportunity, for sake of any happiness, if Ram has to go away from you, Sometimes some people say, Prabhu, I'll work very hard. I will earn a lot of money for Krishna. So for that now say, because I'm working very hard for Krishna, I have no time for chanting. Because I'm working very hard for Krishna, I have no time for coming to temple. Because I'm working very hard for uh, Krishna Prabhu, that is why I, I have no time for service. I have no time for reading Bhagavad Gita Bhagavatam. Prabhu, because I'm so busy, I'm studying for Krishna, so working for Krishna, and that is why I have no time for attending your classes. You see, in the name of Krishna, if something is uh, taking you away from Krishna, then you should know that is the first success of the trap. The trap wants to make sure Ram, Krishna goes away from you. You, you That too, you only will send. Like Sita was sending, Ram, you go, go. Krishna, you go. So that's what you should be very careful. Trap means anything that takes Krishna, Rama, Hare Krishna mantra away from you. Immediately you should know this is the trap and this is the first step or first success of the trap. In the name of so-called happiness, oh, for sake of job, for sake of my family, for sake of my own career growth, for sake of this, for sake of that, if Ram has to go away from us, then you should know you are getting into serious trap. Never ever do this. We should never stop our chanting, never stop going to temple, never stop taking association of devotees in the name of being busy for God. That is never allowed. And then Ram goes away. Now the trap, next target of the trap is how to separate Lakshmana from Sita. Now, what is Lakshmana? Lakshmana represents intelligence given by spiritual master. Spiritual master, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, all, and uh, these classes that folk guides give you, all these represent Lakshmana because they guide you. They will tell you right, wrong. Sometimes even though the Lord is away from us, but the Lord has kept Lakshmana with us, protect Sita. Like that Krishna and Prabhupada have given temple, they have given folk guides, they have given their classes, they have given books and we want that also to go away from us. Hey Lakshmana, now you also go away. Go, go, go. So Sita was so much arguing with Lakshmana. You also go, you also go. In that way, Sita is putting herself 
into a serious danger. That's exactly what Ravana wants. He wants Rama to go away. He wants Lakshmana to go away. So like that in our devotee's life, we should be careful that uh, Maya wants you know, us to send away Lord from our life. Never do this mistake. Never stop. Lord, going away from the Lord means stop chanting Hare Krishna Mantra for any reason, so-called great reason, good reason. It means you are putting yourself into danger. And after that, uh, so disconnecting from folk guides, thinking that, oh, I think I'm busy. I think I can't come to temple or whatever reason. That means Lakshman also you are sending away. Then you're alone. When you're alone, now Ravana comes. The next level of the trap is he does not come directly as Ravana. He, is, he has, uh, you know, disguised himself as a sannyasi. And then he comes and then he's asking Bhavati Bhikshan Dehi, Sita, please give me Bhiksha. And then Sita wants to give Bhiksha and there is uh, Lakshman Reka. And uh, he is saying, no, you have to come outside of it. So sometimes, okay, we are not chanting. That means Ram is away from us. Sometimes we are not in touch with devotees, like Lakshman is also not. At least Lakshman Reka is there. The guidance of the devotee, Prabhupada instructions are there. Sometimes our life, the materialistic life, uh, it could be our company, it could be our so-called education, our family, relatives, anybody who is against God. So they, they represent Ravana. So they come and they ask you, Lakshman Reka, you have to cross. If you want to, you have to cross. They say, okay, you want to grow in your career. That means you have to work more. For that, you have to stop chanting. So you want to so and so this. I want to do very well in my exam. So I want to prepare so well. For that now, during examination, I, 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 will, I will not chant. That means you are crossing Lakshman Reka. So like this, when you cross Lakshman Reka, that's all over. Now, there is nobody who can protect you. Lakshman Reka is not there. Lakshman is not there. Ram is not there. Now you are directly under the attack of Ravana. Now Ravana, what he does? He laughs. Actually, Ravana, he laughs in a very demoniac way. Ha, 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 ha. Why is he laughing? It's a victory laughter. It's a victory for Ravana that you see how successful I am. Sita, she sent Ram away. Sita sent Lakshman away and she came out of Lakshman Reka also. Now who will protect her? She's all alone. Now she's under my control. And now so Sita was kidnapped by Ravana. Like that, so many material desires, material goals, they come like Ravana. And they will influence us like the way Ravana influenced Sita through Maricha. Sometimes so material desires will influence the soul through career progress, career success, family, and my studies and this and that. See, we are not saying we should not do good career. We are not saying we should not study well. We should do all our duties. But that is only duty. Duty means what? It is required for my life. But that itself is not my life. I am not born. This human life is not given to me for my career success. Human life is not given to me for my academic success. Human life is not given to me for so-called family happiness. Human life is given to you for you to get Krishna Bhakti and go back to spiritual world. And for all that, you can have a career, you can be a good student and you can do all that. But that cannot replace the goal of life. And for that, there is always an allurement of you know materialistic desires like Ravana. And they make plan, oh, you come, you know, do this, do that, like that that Hiran or that golden deer will influence us. So Sita, who got into this pleasure trap, she thought it is my happiness. But actually what turned out to be is the greatest misery for Sita. She, what happened now? Ravana kidnapped and took her far away from Rama. Like that, sometimes certain things take us far away from Lord far away from devotees, far away from temple, far away from holy name, far away from devotee association, sometimes far away from loving, caring devotees who care for you, who feel for you. Certain traps can come and they can take us away from all these things. Such a sad thing can happen in our life if you are not careful. That means we don't know what is so-called happiness. Every happiness, we should have a doubt. What is behind this so-called happiness? So we have to question that happiness. 
and then sita was kept in ashok vatika she was threatened she was given torture and big war has to happen of course the lord comes and protect sita that is anyway the law if you are sincere if you are praying for the lord even after ravana kidnaps you rama will come and take you but the point is why should we give this extra burden to lord ram that he has to come and fight for me me being a servant i should be careful i should not so easily get into the so called pleasure traps and i should not lose my intelligence called lakshmana right so be careful sense gratification is the biggest trap so called success i want to be successful in my life i want to be, i want to grow in my life these all can be a traps in the material world final trap is death we all come and we all actually uh, you know get into this trap means losing our lord ram ram will go away we get separated from ram so that's what we should be very very careful of so with this i wish to conclude today's topic and before that i request all of you to please tell me what did you learn from today's session does it help you did you really feel today's session help you and how it helps you in your personal life because it's so important this is the main twisting and turning point in uh, uh, you know ramayana because after this when sita gets kidnapped so much of uh, you know problem we see in the ramayana like that if we also get into the so called pleasure trap we lose rama we get separated from rama so let us be careful let's pray to lord rama to always give us that intelligence direction so that we don't go behind the so called pleasure traps and we'll always be with lord rama not get separated and for this every day we have to chant hare krishna mantra read bhagavad gita bhagavatam and be in touch with devotees then they with all those things we can probably tell us okay i'm in a safer place safer position i may not get attracted to pleasure trap with this uh, we'll stop here please share your comments please uh, share your experience and learnings with us thank you so much hari krishna